we're asked to determine the common ratio in the first four terms of each geometric sequence. Remember the formula for a geometric sequence fits the form of a sub n equals a sub one times r raised to the power of n minus one, where r is the common ratio. The first formula is a sub n equals 40 times 1.02 raised to the power of n minus one. Because the base is 1.02, the common ratio is 1.02. Now remember to find the terms, the subscript indicates the value of n. So to determine a sub one, we substitute one for n, which gives us 40 times 1.02 raised to the power of one minus one, which gives us an exponent of zero. 1.02 raised to the zero power is equal to one, and 40 times one is equal to 40. To find a sub two, we substitute two for n, which gives us 40 times 1.02 raised to the power of two minus one, which gives an exponent of one. 1.02 to the first is just 1.02. 40 times 1.02 is equal to 40.8. To find a sub three, we substitute three for n, which gives us 40 times 1.02, raised to the power of three minus one, which gives us an exponent of two. For this one, let's go to the calculator. So we enter 40, open parenthesis, 1.02, close parenthesis, squared. A sub three is 41.616. To find A sub four, we substitute four for n, which gives us 40 times 1.02, raised to the power of four minus one, which gives an exponent of three. Going back to the calculator, we enter 40, open parenthesis, 1.02, close parenthesis. To enter the exponent of three, we press the exponent key here, and then enter three, and enter. A sub four is 42.44832. Next, we are given A sub n equals four, raised to the power of n minus two, divided by three. Because the exponent of n minus two is only attached to the four, the base is four, and therefore the common ratio is four. If it's helpful, we could think of this as one times four raised to the power of n minus two divided by three, and write this as one third times four raised to the power of n minus two. In this form, it may be easier to recognize the base is four, and therefore the common ratio is four. And that to find a sub one, we substitute one for n, and we can use the original form, or this form here. Let's go ahead and use the original form. If we substitute one for n, we have four raised to the power of one minus two, which is negative one, divided by three. Remember, four raised to the power of negative one is equal to one-fourth, or if we move the base of four down to the denominator, the sign of the exponent changes, and therefore this is equal to one over four to the first times three, which gives us one twelfth. And of course, we can check this on the calculator. We enter four, raise the power of negative one, right arrow, divided by three, enter. To convert the decimal to a fraction, we press math, enter, enter, which does give us one twelfth. To determine a sub two, we substitute two for n, which gives us four, raise the power of two minus two, giving an exponent of zero, divided by three. Four to the zero power is equal to one, a sub two is equal to one third. To determine a sub three, we substitute three for n, which gives us four raised to the power of three minus two, which is one, divided by three. Four to the first is just four, a sub three is four thirds. To determine a sub four, we substitute four for n, which gives us four raised to the power of four minus two, which gives us four squared divided by three, which is equal to 16 thirds. I hope you found this helpful.